In this video, we are going to go over the evolution of blogging. This is going to be to help you rank faster, rank higher on Google. Have you seen this guy right here? This is Sam Altman. This is OpenAI's Dev Day. This happened very recently. Check this video out. Imagine I'm building Wanderlust, a travel app for global explorers, and this is the landing page. I've actually used GPT-4 to come up with these destination ideas, and for those of you with a keen eye, these illustrations are generated programmatically using the new DALI 3 API available to all of you today. So this is one of their developers showing us basically what we know as a travel blog. But let's enhance this app by adding a very simple assistant to it. This is the screen. We're going to come back to it in a second. First, I'm going to switch over to the new Assistant's Playground. Now, this next thing is what separates a blog from an app, but I believe these two things are going to get melded more and more in the future. Creating an Assistant is easy. You just give it a name, some initial instructions, a model. In this case, I'll pick GPT-4 Turbo. And that's it. Our Assistant is ready to go. With just a few lines of code, users can now have a very specialized Assistant right inside the app. Now, this next part is the tip of the sword. This is what blogs could look like in the future. And I'd like to highlight one of my favorite features here, function calling. If you have not used it yet, function calling is really powerful. So here, if I carry on and say, hey, what are top 10 things to do? We're going to have the assistant respond to that again. And here, what's interesting is that the assistant knows about functions, including those to annotate the map that you see on the right. And so now all of these pins are dropping in real time here. Yeah pretty cool. So what he just showed is very easy for a developer to accomplish. Can you imagine a website where you're scrolling down the top 10 places to go in Paris and then right there in the middle, you have a place where you can type and talk to a chat bot, basically a chat bot on steroids. Now that leads us to this document right here, the seven must see Google search ranking documents and the antitrust trial exhibits. Listen, SEO is changing. It used to be all about keyword research, right? You could stuff them in articles, then it was all about backlinks, then it was all on page experience, and now AI is the latest thing. But we can glean some information how to use AI from this right here. Excellent article. What I want to get to, we'll go over a few of these, but check this out. That's a good one, but there's something right here. This is pretty good. Uh, these seven slides were part of a Q4 2006 search all hands-on presentation. So these are Google presentations, right? Internal Google presentations, I believe, that had to be you know, presented at the lawsuit. We do not understand documents. We fake it. Today, our ability to understand documents is directly is, is minimal. So we watch how people react to documents and memorize the responses. It's like a feedback loop, right? And imagine if you had a chatbot on steroids on your website. User engagement would go through the roof and Google would be forced to say, oh my goodness, this article is excellent. Look, people are staying on this page for five minutes. Now this next slide is a huge misunderstanding in SEO. This is not how search works. This is straight from Google. So we score the article, we give results to the UI, and then it goes to SERPs and then someone uses it. Basically, Google scores all the you know documents online and it knows what to do. So what they say is this is how it works. So they give results, they get it to the person, the person interacts with the darn thing, and then Google learns. And it learns how to present what to present based upon on-page engagement. And of course, they're getting more sophisticated by the day, but this is the basis. This is straight from Google's mouth. Now, coming to that on-page engagement idea, this is the website Bonsai Mary. You've seen this on this channel. Uh, I've built it on this channel with you. And it's all AI content. This is 100% AI content, right? And here we go. We are still doing well. Um, I guess yesterday or the day before, we got, I think, a highest click in a while, uh, 229 clicks. Great. And what I've been testing, right, this is organic searches. What I've been testing is this right here. I'll show you. This is one of our articles that is doing well. And what you do, I mean, these are all Dolly, like the guy said in the presentation, Dolly images, right? And we're scrolling down and this right here. Do you see this? Test your indoor plant knowledge. Take the quiz. So I pushed this to Photoshop uh, with a dolly image and it says, what indoor plant has heart-shaped leaves? And I'm just going to blow through these. I'm going to show you this quickly. And this increases on-page engagement. I've already tested this and it's working and it's working really well. You are a plant lover. You got zero out of five. Congratulations. You really love your plants. So I can make this a little better, right? But guess what? That was the easy quiz. Keep scrolling to find the hard quiz, which can't get close which most can't get close to 100%. So then they're encouraged to keep reading because Google, do you see what I'm doing here? Google wants people to read the whole article. They want them to be on this page. So we keep going, 
It's a simple article, and we keep going, and here's the hard plant quiz. So I'm challenging people. Here's the hard one, I dare you. And it's 15 questions. And if we just blow through this darn thing, let's just keep going. I'm, I'm just answering the first one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to my best. Let's just zoom through this, boom, all right, boom. Some have uh, images, some don't. Uh, we're about halfway through now. Do you see how this could automatically increase on page? Now, when this is done, it's pretty interesting what I encourage them to do. I'll show you. Just wait a second. Here we have 12 out of 15. I mean, my on-page engagement has considerably 20% up on the pages I have this with. So it says, great job. You scored in the top 80% of our visitors. You'll probably love our section on indoor plants. Click here, blah, blah, blah. So I push them to the category indoor plants page, and they may want to go through and, and crawl and see more. I'm trying to get people, I'm trying to be as sticky as possible, right? Trying to get people to stay on page because as we learned from, from this over here, right? That's not how it works. This is how it works. How can AI help us keep people on page longer? Now let's actually go through an article together. We're gonna start with Ahrefs. This is the chart for Bonsai Mary. I purchased it back here and then I let it die. And then I recreated everything with AI content and we're doing pretty darn good. So what we can do is come up here, opportunities, and then let's see here, top suggestions from Content Gap. What an easy thing to do if you have this tool. It's gonna to show all my competitors based upon current keywords and what I'm missing out on. So for instance, I have no representation for this one, Weeping Willow Bonsai. And it's a keyword difficulty of two with almost 7,000 traffic per month. And that's extremely good. So what I'm going to do is merely, well, we could go to Word Galaxy. Uh, this is a great tool. This is one that we developed. But for this one, I'm going to use seowriting.ai. So let's toggle back and forth. I'll go through it with you. What we're trying to do here is weeping willow bonsai. That's the main keyword. Now, what I'm going to do is push it to Google. I'm going to see care guide for weeping willow bonsai. That's bonsai empire. That's a very good website. Amazon. So some purchase intent, uh, care guide, care. All right. So what I'm gonna do is make the title of it uh, Bonsai Care, and that should be pretty good. Coming down here, medium is good. I like to do, um, let's do friendly is fine. Informational is good too. I always do first person, target countries, United States. And I'm gonna stop here for a second. I've noticed some people don't think AI content can rank, but it can, we've proven it on this channel. And it's a really good tool to expedite your process, right? If you want to get AI content, you don't wanna put it out raw, well then hybridize it, edit it down, make it your own. But this thing speeds up the process so much. You could also include details to specify headers in some sense. Uh, yes, we want images. Let's do four images, image style, like a photo. Look here, 16 by nine is my preference uh, for a very specific reason. Uh, let's do two YouTube videos and let's alternate image and video, great. And all elements will be placed under the headings, like the H2 and the image, the photo. Um, SEO, we could do NLP, generate keywords. Check this out, this is pretty cool. Um, Weeping Willow Bonsai, so we go through here. Miniature, I don't want anything miniature. Growing it, yes. Caring for it, yes. Pruning, yes. Bonsai for beginners, that's fine. Best soil, that works. Da 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 da. -da. That all looks great. Now, I don't want a conclusion. Uh, tables, eh, let's do no on this one. H3s, we can. A list, let's do no. That's like, um, we could do list. I think that's key takeaways. Italics, yes. Quotes, no. Key takeaways, oh, that is key takeaways. So we'll take that one out. Frequently asked questions and bold. Connect to the web. Yes, this is very good because then it crawls the web, right? Source links know what I want to do. And this is what we could do. Check this out. We could have URLs referenced. So what I could do is come back here and say reference this article and reference this. So the two top SERPs reference them. Very nice. Enter it here. Grab this. Enter it here. So it references those. Um, if you want to use this tool, I'll have a link in the description. It's uh, pretty darn good. Been using it more and more. Um, publish on Bonsai Mary. And what is this? This will be, let's just call it Bonsai and Indoor Plants. That works. We're not gonna publish it, we're gonna draft it out. And just like that, come back to the top and click Run. And just like that, it's in our WordPress post area right here as a draft. And this is what it looks like. Let me scroll to the top here. Uh, so a nice featured image. This is all AI, 100% AI. I just, show, I just showed you exactly, I haven't touched it at all right out of the box, so it automatically placed, I love these for on-page engagement, the YouTube videos, um, very nice. And then we will quickly, let's just go to the bottom, it should have frequently asked questions, 
Wonderful. So what I would do, I would come in here and edit. I'll show you exactly what I typically edit. So this one won't be 100% AI because I will go in and edit it a bit. I mean, the basis is, so Weeping Willow Bonds I Care. I will highlight this one here. Nice. Um, what I could do is just break this up. I'll put a background right here. Just make it look a little bit nicer. Key takeaways. Now I'm doing this quicker than I usually do just for the sake of this video. Um, see how this is like a, a summary of that? I don't want that. Um, usually I take a little bit more time uh, right here in contrast da, 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 to achieve this. That's good. I'm looking for summaries, right? I'm looking for summaries. I do not want summaries. That's good. So that's a summary right there. Take that out. Um, and usually we have one of our team members do this. And like I said, I'll usually read this a little faster. Or they would or a slower rather and, and, and make sure it's accurate. Um, if we're doing it this way. So I'm going to highlight this. This is for, yet again, on-page engagement. Just common sense to make the page better for a user. Like bolded helps our eyes understand a thing. So coming through here, looks good. Now this is what matters down here too. Weepin' Willow Bonsai Care. What do the SERPs show us? Care guide for the Weepin' Willow Bonsai Tree. Um, that's number one. Number two is Japanese Weepin' Willow Care. Um, Weeping Willow Care. So we could keep it simple and just say Weeping Willow Bonsai Care. That works. Um, bonsai Care. See so here the slug is a little off here, and that's fine. Now the first H1 um, we could do here um, for beginners. I don't know. We're just going here. And I can spell, at least with autocorrect, I can spell. And then let's do here. Let's publish this live. Publish, publish, control click. You can see the live slug up here looks good. Now these here, these little share icons are great too. We have them here for a reason because if Google knows that you're getting direct traffic from a source outside of just organic SERPs, that's a great sign. This article looks really nice. The YouTube helps, you know, on-page engagement too. The last thing we can do, what could we do? Let's go to our main here. And over here, I showed you that uh, question. It's by this plugin right here. Uh, quiz cap. So just just pretend. Let's pretend I was going to use quiz cap for that. So what I could come up back here is I, I grab the short code. Um, we could come back to edit. And what I can do is let's say I wanted it like halfway down, right? Uh, let's say right about here. And we push it here. And then uh, update, view post. And it's easy as that. You have to go into quiz cat and change it up a bit and as we scroll down right there test your indoor plant knowledge it's pretty seamless if we look at the headers um looks tight looks correct i like it and hopefully that gives you an understanding of how to use ai nowadays to expedite to rank higher on google